Hello peeps, Drogat here and today I would like to talk about proper shielding in Stormade. So, what a lot of people know is that there are two shield blocks in Stalmate. One is the shield capacitor, which basically defines how much shields an entity can have. And the other is the shield recharge block, which basically recharges this capacity. What a lot of people do not know is that while shields are recharging, the power consumption of the shield recharge is increased by factor 10. So, this sucks on 50 energy right now because the shields are not full yet but when they're filled up this will drop down back to five so now we are back to normal what also a lot of people do not know is that this all changes in a combat situation now i have this little other ship here which basically if you do not know the circuit here let me quickly show you how it's made allows you to trigger such stuff automatically so if we turn this on it will start shooting at our ship now let's see how stuff behaves now you see our shields are reduced by the shots and besides the plus five we have a under fire rate which basically shows 19 20 percent something like this so this means not only our shield regeneration but also our power consumption is reduced it only consumes 10 power now instead of 50 for the normal recharge also the rate at which the shields are recharged are drastically reduced so let's see what the wiki has to say about shielding and shield regeneration now the upper part just explains like there are two blocks yada 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 all we got covered already but the lower part is interesting because here are some formulas so the first formula is related to shield capacity c and and this looks like we are running into diminishing returns, which means the first shield blocks will generate more shield capacity than the last shield blocks you added to a ship. So it will get slower over time. Um, not having figured out how slow this looks like, but 0 0.979 looks like this is not the, you know, not a very steep curve thing. So probably you should be really, really good up to you know when you're in the four millions the second thing this is a shield regeneration you get per shield recharge block and this looks like it's been a, a linear curve so every shield charge block just adds those 5.5 shield regeneration to the ship now down here we have the um, power stuff for shields so like when the shield are fully charged it will just cost the shield regeneration, we notice that. If the shields are empty or not fully charged, it costs 10 times the shield regeneration to recharge them. Interesting here is that it says 10 times R, and above in the formula, upon taking a hit, R is calculated in this big number of shield regenerations times 5.5 times 0 0.25 times bracket whatever remaining shields of compare total shield thingy so we figured this basically reduces the shield regeneration at the beginning when you're shot at to around 16 percent ish and when you're pretty low on shields it rises up again to 25 percent ish that could be actually really really cool so this means that the harder we get hit the little bit stronger the shield regeneration will get but <clears throat> it also means we only get about a fifth of what we installed into the ship so we probably should build so that the power 10 times the shield regeneration kind of equals out because uh, if we build up to exactly the spot for example a ship has 1 million sh uh, power regeneration and we put in like 100k shield regeneration then if there would be no battle and the shields would have to recharge it could like do this you know just consuming all the energy because it has nothing else to do but in a battle situation 
acceleration, this would still give us at least 20k shield recharge and also then soaking 200k out of our 1 million. So, well, we could even build it bigger because let's say we really don't have anything to fear yet, then it also would not mind if we would run into a power outage, right? These are all sorts you should consider when building your shields. And that already concludes this tutorial. If you liked it, please leave a like. And if other people in the future might be wondering how to build proper shields, I hope you remember this tutorial. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.